con leones con no, cabeza no, no, camero, de carnero. Camero, 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 camero. Leones con cabeza de carnero. This is in the temple of Karnak, looking down through part of the columns to an obelisk. Yes. Is that how big men here as well? No, men here are not obelisks. There's one over there. That's my one. What two people? As, as a one way on the other side. Bringing the opposite line on each side, and the base is upwards. And this pyramid shape down. Pushing each or pulling it by any way so you can see the base here. They wanted to put it here. They began to remove this mud bricks and the sand. <laughs> remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it until it became horizontal and so and so on until it fell in its place. Okay. Of course, they use okay. some rope. Mineral cow mixes it there with wax and take it right away from the This is from stone, stone of the sea, and the day you see the dating and the color. Maybe this is nothing if you compare it tomorrow. Tomorrow we shall go to Abidos to see the real color. So to put the third in the face, have to this is the sacred lake, which is part of all temples here, because, like all religions, they had to make some sort of ablution before they entered the temple, the priests anyway. And uh, this is below the surface of the Nile. Other wise men, bending over their desks, keep the maps of the empire up to date. And for part of Kanak Temple, of the kingdom of the Turks. 2,000 years. And it still isn't quite finished. Watching over the furnaces, or it never was others finished. supervised the mysterious metallurgical union of silver and gold into electrum, whose shining plaques would glow the obelisk. This is how they constructed the walls of the temple. They built up this uh, stone, brick upon brick, making steps, and then pulled the stones up to the top, and then took the brick away bit by bit, smoothed the walls, and inscribed them and painted them. You can see this one has to be finished. This is now the temple of Luxor, or Luxor. People would never believe I was at Sonora. <laughs>
You can see as much of it as you want. Not nearly as well preserved as the um, <laughs> Temple of Kana. Here is the Fertari. You know this house clean and the stone with the long tight dress. Nefertari, the beautiful lady. And Ronsi the second, he has how many? This is a mosque built, <coughs> built into the wall of the temple. Probably like 1500 AD. Here's the door. Um, so this was once the level. Since then it's been excavated. We are now still in the <coughs> Luxor Temple, and at one stage it was used as a church by the Romans. You can see the altar, and once there was a fresco on the walls here. This is on the top of the temple of Bendera, looking out towards the desert. Here are some stone sarcophagi in the forecourt of the Dendera temple. Must have been for a very small person. And this one still has its uses. We've now travelled 70 kilometres along the bank of the Nile and arrived at Abydos. Which is uh, built 3000 BC. So now 4,500 years old. This is inside Abydos. Thank you. 
This is the famous um, list of pharaohs. This is Seti and his son Moses, very young, and he is educating him. This is the famous list of 70 or so pharaohs by which modern people have been able to ascertain the chronological order. Tutankhamun is not in this list, but the time he was not as important enough. This is on the road back from Abidos, along a backwater of the Nile. And there are several villages along here. I'm taking this from the bus side. It's bound to be very bumpy. Ducks. Somebody's washing out to dry. It's nearly midday, so there wouldn't be too many people about, I don't think. It's very hot. goes across the river. It's pulled by a rod. He's obviously knocked off for lunch. So. <laughs> knocked off for lunch. <laughs> I don't blame him, I'd knock off most of the day if I lived here. <laughs>
swimming in the water. This is the typical garments wear but worn by the women here. I don't know why they wear black, but they do.
Donc, euh, l'après-midi est libre, c'est la piscine, c'est le dosage et c'est la détente. Le, le buffet et le déjeuner sera servi immédiatement. Et on le temps pour arriver pour quelques les 5 heures. Donc, si nous écoutons tout de suite, d'ailleurs, ils vont nous avons quitté tout de suite après un bac. Et après un bac. Comment Et euh, donc, on peut dire que nous allons être à Luxor à 6 heures. Bon, je vous souhaite un très bon après-midi. of course, the children are absolutely beside themselves, having spent five, six nights or something on a <coughs> on, in cramped conditions on a boat, which was lovely, but still nevertheless cramped. What? Just a minute. They are now taken over this suite. Well, it's not really a suite, but they're pretty impressed by the size of the bed. Outside, look outside. Well, here we are at the pyramids, the site of the three pyramids at Giza. These are 3,000 years old, these piles of stone. And as you can see on the top here, they were once covered by some kind of shiny or one shiny stone. Perhaps it was polished, which has now crumbled away. Unfortunately, they've the place is ridden, overridden by a massive riffraff, to say the least, who don't stop pestering you. A fairly unpleasant lot, really. But nevertheless, these uh, magnificent things rise out of the stone above it all, out of the earth, above all this human mess. Horses, camels, and filth everywhere. This is the smallest of the pyramids. We go down towards the next, and the largest Cheops further down. The only one you can go inside, but unfortunately it's closed today. But I particularly want to go inside anyway. If you are up on the top of a desert mound, you can see how desolate it is. It's sand, inundated by tourists and camels and donkeys. on top of the camel, Robert frantically negotiating just how far he's going to go or not. There they go. They're not too sure, I don't think. Well, there they go off into the desert. Got rid of them at last. I can enjoy myself in Bangkok. 
Sav's a bit nervous, I think. Actually, it's jolly hot out here today. Very barren landscape. You have to be certainly tough to be a Bedouin. Well, this looks good, although when the pyramids were built, camels were unknown to Egypt, but it looks the way we always think of it. I think they're stuck. Whoops! Definitely stuck. Here we are in Thailand. This is looking out of our window. We're staying in the best hotel Rob and I have ever stayed in. It's really superb. Right on the river. And this is the morning traffic, which gets more and more crowded during the day. I don't know how they're quite managing this, but there are bar always barges and all sorts of river traffic. Looks like a pretty heavy load. I swear to handle coca like that. It's true. Nobody can handle coca like that, except my crazy people. This too. And later on, you're going to see how to end. If you perform them like that, they're going to kill you like that. This. To show you that python still have original fangs. You're going to see how to handle the fish. Okay, let's see the python then. I need to live longer than human beings. When the python go up,
Actually, this is our hotel here. I was wrong the last time. Best hotel I've ever stayed at. limousine on our way out to the airport going home after five six weeks of traveling and Sophie how do you feel about going home to Tokyo? Well, Hurry up we're running out of paint. Okay well it'll be the last time I walk out of Narita airport. Right now I are uh, at Tokyo's largest golf driving range. We're waiting to play golf because there's a big crowd of people as you can see. Andre is somewhere in the distance over there looking after our stuff. We're going to find a third deck and hit the ball out here to the short greens or out further. This is where people come to play or practice their golf. Probably because they can't afford to play the course anyway. And here's the famous Andre Major, golfer extraordinary, hitting off out there. Thousands of other people. Say hello, Andre. Concentrate. Here he goes. Good one. Here he is, yes. Go on, honey. He's the famous He's Mr. Red. <laughs> He's the famous Mr. Major. You see all the balls out there? Everyone sit out there. Dad's just getting some more balls right here. Yeah. He goes, Mr. Major, for another big hit. Thank you. Do we? 
No, it's too late now. Haven't we got one? I ordered one on Saturday. But it hasn't come yet. You wait here. That'll be best. I shall be back in a moment. What do we do? Listen, that's all. Listen. Yes, yes. I shall be back directly. Oh! Oh! My love! My beautiful! I suppose they're engaged to be married. Oh, I think they must be. They've evidently met before. My Dolores! I think this must be both how you do and goodbye. He is very good looking. Oh, you think so? Now she's pretty if you like. Yes, very bad style, of course. I didn't miss. Quick, quick, you must go. Never, now that I've found you again. Yes, yes. My mother and my sister are hot upon your track. They'll be here at any moment in their two-seater. Your mother and your sister? I walked on ahead to warn you. They have come. And if he doesn't put his hand up, I shall... I shall say hand up again. And that will show him that I'm not to be talked with. Now then, dear, are you ready? Yes. Then... Oh! Now, why did you do that, Mary? I didn't do it, dear. Then who did? I don't know. They just went out. Then I shall write to the company tomorrow and complain. I shall complain to the company about the lights, and I shall complain to the landlord about the way people go in and out of this house, and show... Oh! Don't do that. What is it? I can feel somebody quite close to me. Well, that's me feeling something. Dots and dashes. That's the law code. That's what it is. Play it by dictionary. <coughs> Wait, dear. Here we are. Wolves. The wolves. No, that must be wrong. Ah, this is better. Morse code. Signaling of telegraph operators. And, quote, he sends a good morse. Well, what does it say? Nothing. That's all. Then we come to morsel, a small piece of food, a mouthful, a bite, or for a small meal. A mouthful. That's what he wants. He wants a gag taken out of his mouth. That's very clever, Mary. I should never have thought of that. <laughs> Why, it's the man who came in first. The nice looking one. Yes, he said he was coming back. Ha! Oh, to you, madam. Say ha to the lady, dear. Ha! And what the Mephistopheles are you doing here? You to? I absolutely refuse to. Ha! For you're the prisoner. All right, mother. Can you loan me a pen, ma'am? I don't think... There you are. Thanks. <laughs> Wait. Before proceeding to extremities, I will give you one more chance. Where is the rude does rabbi? You mean the robber's rude, don't you, mother? <laughs> That's what I said. You said the rude does rabbi, but I think you meant the rude does He's young, talent time, and now he is Sophie and Joe to dance and sing, celebrate.
the biggest song from Ross, the biggest Ross group, there's a cat among the pigeons to keep this party raging on. Thank you. Come on!
Sorry for that, Florida. We need to do one of those ones where it's really like dancing. <laughs> Is it filming? Yeah. The light's not right there. This is Andre, the beautiful little boy. And it's, the light isn't working on this at the moment, so I'll just stop it.